This time on the Iron King Inc. YouTube channel, we got big trucks and they are big time broken. So sit back, relax, grab a nice cold drink, and enjoy the show. Beautiful Crescent Valley, Nevada. We have our 773B water truck here. This wasn't even supposed to be a video. And let me give you a little bit of backstory here. So, fire the truck up. We're actually getting it, getting it ready to go out on rent and do a couple test passes with it, fire up the sprayers, get everything running good. I hop out of the truck to go take pictures and notice that the blow-by tube is leaking. That's bad. Walk up to it, kind of put my finger underneath of it and can kind of tell it that, that ain't oil. That is raw diesel. So I immediately get it back to the shop, shut it off, pull the dipstick, and it is probably five gallons over full with raw diesel in the crankcase. So I'm like, okay, this is not good. We need to pull valve covers, check our standpipes, and see if we have a loose one somewhere. Pulled the valve covers. On the last one, we had a very loose standpipe. That was definitely the diesel issue. Now here's where it gets interesting. I pulled the last valve cover off just to check and there was a uh, valve bridge laying in the side of the, like the upside of the uh, valve cover, like your valve cover extension. So I'm like, oh, this is getting very, very interesting. So I grab the valve bridge, start looking at it, and I start immediately going towards the push tube. So if your push tube is loose, sometimes even if it's over tightened and it bends, it will uh, have your rocker arm fall backwards and your valve bridge will fall off. So now we're at the point of me looking at the push tube, I pull it out and that thing is almost a f entire U, it looks like a horseshoe. Pull that out, find another push tube, put the engine back together, and I find out that the rocker arm next to it is doing nothing. So we have a lifter problem. We have a lifter, a valve bridge, a push tube, and a standpipe. So this thing was pretty sick and I didn't realize it. My bad. But we're gonna go and fix that today. So we're gonna have to pull the camshaft out of this thing. And that is gonna require the entire front end of the truck coming off, radiator coming out, front cover of the engine being removed. We're gonna have to pull fan, spider, water pump, all this front ancillaries to get to the camshaft. And we're gonna have to pull these valve covers, pull all the rockers, pull the rocker shafts, and we're gonna have to try and pull the lifters out. It's gonna be a job, but we can do it. First things first, so we gotta get some food in us. So being in Crescent Valley at the shop, we're making us some hash browns and some eggs. Cooking them some boys up. Hashies done. Cooking them eggies. You gotta get fueled up to work on this kind of stuff because it is grueling. <laughs> All right, so we're here in the engine bay. I'll bring you guys in closer here. So here's what we are messing with. Down there, so I've already pulled that lifter out. You got a lifter and a hook, lifter and a hook. I pulled that one out. This one is our problem lifter. So I have these pliers here that have a hook on the end of them. And here, hand me one of those lifters, I'll show them what I'm talking about. Little hook right here. What you do is you put the pliers around the hook and you pull up as hard as you can and it should pop out. However, this one that, this one didn't have a bent push tube, which is weird. It was this one with the bent push tube and this one's just doing nothing. So I'm wondering if something catastrophic happened right here and made this one bend the push tube. But we're gonna see if we can yard that out. We're gonna give it a couple more tries to really freaking pull on it and see if we can get it out and then inspect the camshaft. If not, we're gonna be pulling all of this off and pulling the front cover of the engine and pulling the camshaft out. All right, so took a little sit rep, couldn't get that lifter out. We assembled the engine back together. So we have all of our rockers in, stand pipes are in. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna fire the truck up. We're gonna get it inside the shop here. So I, we measured it all out, everything looks good. We should be able to get it 
backed into the shop, work inside, because it has been raining and pouring, and this thing needs to be inside for us to work on it. So hopefully we don't have a super major catastrophe. We just put everything back together the way it was, put the lifters back in at push tubes, rockers the way we were. We're gonna fire it up. I'm gonna show you the problem. Hopefully we don't have a catastrophic failure while we're letting it idle. We have to let it idle to build air pressure. Once we do that, we can release the brakes and hopefully back that thing into the shop. saw that on the camera that uh, back rocker is not doing its thing so that's our main problem we're gonna figure out I'm gonna bolt that other valve cover on have this thing build some air pressure and get its ass into the shop if you notice it is it's it's rolling black smoke at idle. Update. Truck is inside the shop. We gave it a pretty good little sweep. Got this pad cleaned off over here so we can back the service truck onto it. What we're gonna do now is pull the hood off this thing, slowly pull this radiator guard off, and we should be able to. Once we have all this off here, we're gonna start pulling this guarding off of here, drain all of the coolant and yard this whole radiator assembly out of here because our problem is way deep inside there so we need to pull the whole front cover off this thing to get to it. Yeah, I'm um, heavy right here is the problem. In the back. So we almost get like a long strap and then grab them both. Yeah. Look at the shot. That big yeller? I think big yeller, yeah. Okay. I'll run and grab it. I'm gonna get right above it. Go over here to the other side of the shop. This strap is a little overkill, but I think it should be long enough to get her up over that.
and they look like a uh, 916 thread. All right, hood's off. Now we're gonna pull this valence off of here. So this grill and this piece should come off as one unit. So we're gonna undo all these bolts right here. Same on the other side, pull this guy off. side guys off. It ain't, ain't going to go anywhere. Let's unbolt. Alright guys, so quick update here. We got all of the coolant drained. We're letting the last of it dribble out of here. We have the whole front guarding pulled off of the truck. It's sitting right over there. Our next step is to pull all of the spiders, like the uh, webbing for the, spit for the fan. So we're going to pull all this off here get to the belts and everything, pull these hoses, and then hopefully uh, pull this whole radiator off. And then we're that much closer to getting to that camshaft. So we're working on pulling this radiator out right now. And it's got uh, these bushings, one on each side. And then we have two larger ones up there. We're gonna get these out first, hook the crane up, and then get those two top mounts undone to pull the radiator out of this thing. Is it a hammer? It's a wrench and a hammer. Mm. Mm hmm. Somebody got it. Mm. Get her? Uh huh. Ugh. Nailed it. That bolt has seen yeah. better days. We should probably get a new bolt. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Yeah, you're good. I need you to go down and watch the fan too, make sure you don't nick it. Okay. Okay, hold up. Um, are you out of the mount yet or no? Yeah, this, uh... No. The issue is, is where the fan is too, is getting too low in the, the guard here. So you're gonna get caught. See how it's inside the guard? And we aren't out of our mount. If we freaking unscrewed it here. And slid it out? Yep. Okay, let's do that. Right there.
pretty far. Because yeah. I need to come in on the on the bullet. Okay, I'm coming in with the Quick update for you guys. Front cover is almost ready to pull. We have a chain binder with a giant chain running to the top of the water tank to support the front of the engine because the front cover has a mount right here that when we take this off, this engine's gonna fall forward. So we need to make sure we have it supported in the front with that pick and eye. So we should be all good. We're gonna release these two bolts or four bolts on each side. We're gonna loosen those guys. That should give us like an idea of how much weight we need to put on that binder up top and kind of let us level the engine out. So we're gonna go ahead, zip these bolts out, give that a shot, and then slowly tighten up that binder until we are level with this so we are good to pull this engine mount, front mount, and then finally pull this front timing cover off. cover is almost ready to pull. We forgot to drain the oil. We have this ingenious idea because there's no downspout for this thing. So we have a funnel down to the bottom of this huge container. All right, so we have our cover completely separated. All the bolts are out of it. We ended up pulling these studs because the stud was right here was long enough to make us obstruct on this cooler and we don't want to pull the coolers off of it we just want to get the front cover give her the beans robert come on robert just sit back on there <laughs> oh there you go quick update shit's getting real i'm pulling all the stand pipes we're pulling all the valve covers off this thing and we're gonna pull the cam shortly and see how bad the damage is. But from that, we got some stuff that is tatered. So here's where we're at. We have the whole top end of the engine sitting right here. All the push tubes are out, all the rocker shafts are out. However, this is very bad. That's a piece of a lifter. That's another piece of a lifter. Now, even with all this bad, we would still probably try and save this engine, except for this piece right here. Now this, this is an oil squirter. This goes on the bottom of your piston and squirts oil up to cool it down. I don't know where this came from, but all I know is that piston has been running without an oil squirter for a very long time. So here's what's happening. We're gonna make this a two part video. This truck's getting a brand new engine. We have an engine heading down here right now. Casey Liddell is bringing that thing down for us from our shop up in Oregon. Should be here later today. 
But this thing went from, it's got diesel in the fuel, to a rocker arm won't move, to we're putting an engine in this thing. So it's gonna be a good video for you guys. We're gonna have a bad time, but it's, uh, it's gotta happen. We gotta get this truck back up and running. So like I said, two part video. Hopefully you enjoyed the first one. In the second video, we're gonna get that motor in there. Hopefully get this truck fired up again. As always guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or concerns, throw it down in the comment section. And if you like this kind of stuff, consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you guys in part two.